What up? Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. And happy Saturday. This is uh, another episode of Dave's Daily D, Dave's Daily Discussions. And uh, it's late in the evening. I'm giving. I'm doing this recording via YouTube. We're gonna we're gonna try and take the channel um, and try to see if we can facilitate it and push it from YouTube over to to Facebook and Instagram and see if that works out. If not, we'll be doing separate videos or video uploads. But I've been trying to upload some of the videos to the channel that I started on YouTube, and it takes some time from the cell phone. So um, I'm out here. I didn't get a chance to do this earlier. Hurt the back the other day, and uh, I'm trying to mow this yard before. It gets uh, dark, so I've got some time, obviously, and uh, it's supposed to rain most of the day tomorrow, so I better get it done now. So, anyway, hopefully everybody's having a good day. This is day 63 of Dave's Daily D, Dave's Daily Discussions. I appreciate you guys tuning in again. I hope for this YouTube feature. Uh, I think it's the next step for me. It's the next level. It's going to get us up there. Um, I'm super excited to be doing this because... Uh, the whole reason that I jumped into the whole TikTok scene before, but I hadn't been doing it. I kind of slacked off on it, but it was going well. Um, TikTok and YouTube are going to allow random people or people who have interest um, to come across the videos. And it's going to help more people see it, more viewers, more fans. Uh, and it's going to help out tremendously. At least that's my, that's my goal. I mean, a lot of people are successful on YouTube. And once again, as always, this is not a ploy to get rich not a play to get famous this is just to uh inspire and help as many people as i can succeed and bring a lot more optimism to the world because we all know we need it and that's all i've been hearing from people is that my optimism inspires so um starting off with this morning i took a note on my phone i saw a friend of mine on facebook need to come across this hi um Hopefully more people are coming across these videos. I know Facebook timelines can be intriguing and interesting on how, how they work and how you come across videos with interactions. But um, the post that I saw was uh, a friend that I don't personally know, but uh, she had posted a long post and it was about people trying to tear other people down, especially her when she was doing something for, for like an advertisement or something. Somebody was trying to, to tear her down on her appearance. Um, and my big thing, I ended up sending her a direct message and I basically just said, hey, anybody who's on here trying to troll and tear you down is very insecure about themselves and their situation and they're jealous and they are unhappy with their situation and their life and they are trying to make themselves happy by, by tearing you down. Goes all the way back to the conversation about building the biggest building. You can either build the biggest building and be successful because you built the biggest building or you can build a building just to be there and you can try to tear everybody else's building down so that you are the biggest building and the people that want to run their mouths and tear others down and be jealous and be assholes are the same exact ones who were just building the building out of insecurity tearing other people's buildings down so I sent the message to tell her that keep doing you, keep doing your thing, keep keep working at it, keep being successful. Use those other people's uh, insecurities and their their mean words as a drive to continue being you and being successful doing what you're doing. So that was my message, and I also did a post on it on Facebook, and uh, she was pretty thankful and grateful for it and appreciated my words and and my posts. So. Um, that's what I do. I'm, I'm, I'm a successful person. I'm going to continue being a successful person. Another topic that came up today is some people may think that I'm a know-it-all or I, try, I think that I know everything or that I'm, a, I'm an asshole or something because of who I am. But I am one, very confident. I am not cocky. I am confident. <clears throat> and I only speak on things that I have knowledge on that I have done research on or have experience in. If other people have opinions, because if it's, if it's factual or opinion, there's a difference. Factual, well, it's factual. I looked it up and it's factual. If it's an opinion, here is my opinion. You can have yours. I'm not trying to change yours, but if you do change yours, sure, that's fine. Absolutely, we all have our, our reasons to be opinions. And apparently people think that I think I'm a know-it-all and it's not. 
if I have now done something, experienced on something, or if I have researched it, or I see somebody struggling with something, I will find the answer and I will give it because that's who I am. I try to give information to people to make their lives easier, to help them be successful, especially with what I preach about. If you have experience and knowledge on something and you see somebody else who is trying to learn or do something, why would you not try to help them? Human nature, let's be helpful to our counterparts, to the people around us. Let's be there for them and help try to teach them because it doesn't mean that they're going to take you out of business or take what you've got because you gave them some tips or some knowledge. They have to outwork you. So if you're outworking them and you're outworking everybody else, you should have no worries whatsoever. So, let me try to get this thing all situated here. Hold on. That's better. So anywho, I'm out here, I'm gonna mow the yard. It's day 63 of Day of Daily D. I am loving this. We're going to YouTube to get this going even better. And uh, tomorrow's Father's Day, so for all you fathers out there, happy Father's Day. To everybody else who is not a father make sure you uh you do something for your your father or um if he's no longer with us um i'm sorry that he's not with you um it's having a father and a father figure around is a very great thing to do um if you have somebody who has been a father figure that's not your father make sure you uh say something or do something for them even if you don't have a lot just kind words are uh, are everything to that person so um make sure make sure you're doing that and uh if, if they're not with you anymore if you don't have that figure in your life i, I apologize and i feel bad uh that you don't have that this can be a rough day for many because of that and uh just do the things that you know that you can do if there's a uh a gravesite memorial you can go to um that's something you're at least doing that um or if you have any issues, if you're struggling because you may have lost your father or father figure in the recent years and you're still battling that, um, what do I do all the time? I tell people that I'm here for them and uh, I give advice. So if you're struggling with that, don't be afraid to message me while you're going through that tough day tomorrow. Send me a message, send a comment, do what you got to do, and uh, I'll give advice or I'll listen. And uh, if you want me to respond, I'll respond accordingly. So I'm going to do this mowing. It's uh, cooled down a bit outside here. Just remember, guys. There's no need to tear anybody down. There's no need to get huffy and puffy or angry or try to get into arguments or fights over things that have no barring or bearing or anything. I mean, there's really no reason to do any of that most of the time anyway. Um, but honestly, it's, it's, it's about growth and it's about success. And a lot of things can be solved with words and a lot of things can be solved with intellectual positive words and working through things instead of trying to get negative and ugly and mean. I mean, there's just there's a lot more to life I, i'm at a point in my life where i don't need to sit here and yell and argue with anybody i am trying to be successful i'm going to be successful i already am being successful and nobody's going to get my way of that i don't have to defend myself if anybody has an opinion on me that's their opinion great um maybe it'll change along the way but if they have a, a negative opinion about me they they might be jealous or uh indifferent because they're insecure about themselves and they're they're not happy because of where I'm at in life. So I'm going to keep working. I'm going to keep grinding. I hope all of you out there keep grinding and doing your thing. I want you all to be successful. If you don't like me and you're watching this, that's okay. Hopefully one day you'll turn turn a corner and you'll uh, come across uh, the reasoning on why I am who I am, why I'm so competitive, why I am who I am, so successful, so strong, uh, strongly worded and uh, I speak on what I know and I speak on what I believe in so if you don't like it I, I'm not going to apologize but um, I hope that you come around and realize who I am what I'm about and that I'm all about success and positivity I love y'all this first YouTube video is uh, coming to an end here we'll get ready for Sunday tomorrow on Father's Day edition and uh, hopefully this uploads okay I apologize for the video being late we'll see how long it takes to upload and we'll try to get it to Facebook and Instagram as well so day 63, Dave's Daily D. I love y'all. I'm about to mow the yard. And let's do it.